What is going on everybody, Weed Ultra Twin Needle here, bringing you all another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video featuring this special 420 Blaze Incineroar meme team that I cooked up for y'all. So here's the story behind this team though, I've been honestly addicted to the 420s for several years, at least since the pandemic because that's sort of like I was inside for a long time, I became a lot more reliant on it, I spent like way too much money on it on average and I also would just be on it like all the time like overall I just needed a break even if it was just like a tolerance break I needed to see just how my life was without it you know what I mean and you know, it, you know there's pros and cons I don't really want to ramble on too much about this my sister hits me up she's like happy for money I'm coming over and I'm like okay see you soon love you and she brings me this like big ass you know edible brownie and I'm like um well I, I'm trying to quit, but like, it is 420 and you know, what's the worst that can happen? So I decided to indulge into it. Like I actually like get the whole thing. But honestly, it, it didn't end up too bad because the end result was this video. But if you all sat through all this rambling and enjoy the content or haven't just done so already, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This is a bit embarrassing. I've been bleeding subscribers oh, and I know there's like a lot of factors to that, like, you know, not uploading, me not posting show on Saul, like how could you? But anyway, if you enjoyed this narrated content, I want to support the channel. Just make sure you subscribe, double check to make sure if you aren't, or maybe if you are just unsubscribing or resubscribe, you never know how buggy YouTube can be with that. Just something to tell YouTube that I'm alive. Okay, sorry about that intro nonsense. Let's get into my team. So like I mentioned at the start, I did build around this Blaze Incineroar, who we have on the squad, but um, Blaze Incineroar aside, we have Venusaur, one of the biggest stoner Pokemon of all time, just because of its animations in Pokemon Stadium. And so is Torkoal, like Venusaur and Torkoal, uh, like, come on. Th that's the stoner core right there. Now this is where the theme team gets a little shaky, right? We have Chiampao Dragonite. Now hear me. Look at their items. We do have the White Herb on Chiampao, and then we have Lumberry on Dragonite. And the Lumberry is green and round, like a weed nug. That's that's where they fit on the theme team. We do have Chiyu Flutter Rain, but instead of Chiyu, we have the much more handsome and Daddy. similar. And then we have Flutter Mother of current EGC. Can't have a Sun team or a VGC team without Flutter Mother to carry it. So that's the team we'll be packing for this video. My first opponent today is packing a very Trick Room based squad with Andidi Hatterian, Torkoal, Glade, Ursaluna, and Urshifu. So overall, Boring. very straightforward Trick Room team. The only thing that might be shaky Sloppy. is like the Urshifu could be Choice Scarf. I have seen Trick Room teams where you know you use Scarf Urshifu, you turn, and then bring in your Trick Room Pokemon, and then set up Trick Room with Andidi, and then sweep from there. It's just so you're not too useless outside of Trick Room. But yeah, rambling aside, let's get into the battle. And of course, I did take a trainer card for this team. Just because of that, it'd be fun. We have Incineroar there. My opponent's trainer card was actually pretty cool right there. I'm, I have never really seen a trainer card like that. That's where the compliments end for my opponent. And now the complaints begins. Because they lead off with their Ndidi Hattering. They go for the basic ass lead. But they did exceed expectations with that trainer card though. Usually when they have a standard team, their trainer card is the default one as well. Anyways, I go for the Stellar Trastalization with my Incineroar. So they go for Double Protect with their Ndidi and Hattering. I thought that they would just go for Follow Me Trick Room, right? But no, they go for Double Protect, they sense something suspicious was happening. I don't know how they did it, but they they just knew. And I go for the Earthquake to, you know, do some damage to Ndidi Hatterene, get around the redirection. But more importantly, we're going to activate our weakness policy on my Incineroar, which also brings me into the Blaze range. This was like one of the main strategies I had in mind with this team, right? I go for the Stellar Boosted Heat Wave with Blaze as well, and I thought after the Earthquake chip, it would just get a double knockout. But they double protect and I'm like, no, now I have to go for Earthquake again for it to actually knock out. But then I'm like, wait, I have a Torkoal. So let me just bring it out, set up the sun, which will further boost the heat wave. And hopefully then my heat wave will connect and knock out both these Pokemon. So they just go for follow me. I guess they were just like a heat wave Incineroar, girl, what's wrong with you? But no, they underestimated my husband Incineroar. I go for the Stellar Terra, Blaze Boosted, plus two special attack, sun boosted as well. Heat wave and get a double knockout. The girls got cooked alive by my Blaze Incineroar. And this strategy is very bad. Do not try this at home. It is very funny though. Like you gotta you gotta give me props for trying to make a Blaze, you know, strategy like actually like do work in doubles. But anyways, they bring in the Ursaluna and the Urshifu. They bring in their bears. I switch out of my Incineroar because funnily enough I actually do carry Protect but because Urshifu is a fair balanced Pokemon it can ignore all protection so I have to switch out because I don't want to die to close combat. I bring in my Venusaur as they actually go for the Ghost Terra on Ursaluna. 
right? And I'm like, I go for body press and the Ursula Luna just because I didn't want to miss overheat. That was literally the only reason. But they just happen to be terror ghosts. And then they avoid body press and go for headlong rush as opposed to just like, oh my god, my opponent was pissing me off, okay? Like, I don't know, me and my opponent had beef. Like, I, I don't know, my opponent... And they go for protect right here. I'm like, girl, why didn't you not protect last turn? But I guess like it's like obvious for Ursula to go for protect, so I get it. But I'm like, you know what, Venusaur? End this man. And we put that Urshifu to sleep. Because that's what we deserved after like my opponent being annoying with the protects and the Terra. Like, how dare you do this to me? And now I go for overheat as they are able to protect themselves. And actually last turn, um, my opponent and I did see that my Torkoal is faster than their Ursula Luna. Which is really funny, like how is that even possible? But I guess because like my Torkoal is meant to outspeed Amoongus and stuff, that I outspeed, you know, Trick Room Pokemon. I'm not too sure how that happens. Thankfully, um, Urshifu gets a second turn to sleep. And I go for the overheat after going for Acid Spray, lowering that special D on that Ursaluna. And we go for the overheat as well, knocking out the Terra Ghost Ursaluna, which initially blocked my body press. Which I only went for because I didn't want to miss overheat. I'm like, oh, I got so upset because keep in mind, I was playing like all these battles, like very baked on my mind. So anyway, I bring in my Incinivore back in. I go for the Grass Pledge and I go for the Fire Pledge. That's right. We are also using the Pledges on this team. I outspeed the Urshifu and then they Rage Quit on me. So keep in mind, like I didn't have any special attack boost there. And like, they probably would have woken up on the um, Urshifu because they, they did take two turns of sleep, so they would have woken up. But because my Incineroar moved after my Chlorophyll Venusaur with the pledges, it's low-key like after you, my opponent just could not handle it. It was so satisfying. Like the Rage Quit was delicious Trick Room Tears that I wanted to showcase there. So hopefully you all enjoy that first battle. Let's move on to the next one. So Toe here is packing a Monotype Normal team with Grafii, Regigigas, Ursaluna, Blood Moon, Porygon 2, Ferregaraf, and Smeargle. I was very excited to see what my opponent was going to bring in this battle right here. Like overall, I was hoping for like Grafii, Regigigas, but either way, I just wanted to see what my opponent was cooking up with this Mono Normal team. But anticipating the uh, Grafii, Regigigas lead, which they do lead off with, and that was Strange Ball Shiny. Is that even possible? Strange Ball Shiny Regigigas? I don't think that's even possible. My opponent is a cheater. Or maybe they just know my bestie, Caitlyn Jenner. They might just have her number as well. But either way, I'm going to switch out of my Venusaur. Expecting my opponent to go for a doodle into it to get the chlorophyll, right? They could doodle into my Torkoal to get rid of Slow Start. But I just know that the chlorophyll looks so delicious to them. They, they have to go for the doodle into my Venusaur. So I switch into my Fluttermane to absorb the Doodle because you actually cannot Doodle the Paradox Pokemon's abilities because they just gatekeep all fun strategies. I go for the Overheat into the Regigigas, but unfortunately they go for Protect because Regigigas learns that now. I think it's learned Protect since Generation 8. Here I'm hoping that their uh, Grafii is Prankster because Doodle will fail because you can't, you know, use Prankster moves against a Dark type. They go for the Stellar Terrestrialization on their Regigigas as well. Which is awesome because I am Stellar Terra's number one fan. It is not a good Terra at all. I understand that, but I just love using it. I just love how it looks. Like I like how colorful it is, and I like how people sleep on it so much. And I don't know, like I have Stellar Terra on both Fluttermane and Incineroar on this team, just because you know Caitlyn Jenner hooked me up with that stuff, right? I don't even have like Terrapagos like completed. Like I haven't even like unlocked Stellar Terra shards in game yet. I usually just ask someone if I need a Stellar type change or you know Caitlyn Jenner just trades me the Stellar Pokemon. Nowadays she just she just like no likes Pokemon and I really appreciate her for that. Like she went from like running people over in her car to um you know training Pokemon up for PokeTubers and stuff. So I really appreciate uh, Caitlyn Jenner for that. I would never um cheat my Pokemon. Um, like my opponent with her strange ball Regigigas, like what the hell, like that's definitely cheated. But anyways, I bring in my Incineroar, go for the Stellar Terra. I'm like, oh, you have Stellar Terra? I'll show you a real handsome Stellar man. So I bring up my Incineroar, go for the Stellar Terra. I just show that animation for no reason. I cut out like all the other ones, but Incineroar, I just had to show that one. They go for the parting shot into my Venusaur because they were like expecting this thing to do damage because you know it is Pokemon in the sun. I kind of get it. They go for the parting shot. And now they're going to bring out their Porygon 2. So they bring out the Porygon 2, another shiny Pokemon. They're going to download 
and unfortunately for them, they're going to get an attack increase. I kind of felt bad for them, but I go for the Bulldoze here into my opponent, and as you saw in the last battle, we do have the Weakness Policy, which will be activated. So I, I said it backwards that time. See, I'm switching it up. But now I go for the Bulldoze, lowering my Incineroar's speed, which may seem kind of weird. Like, why would you do that when you're trying to, like, sweep with it, like, in the sun? But it's because we have Lash Out on the Incineroar, which doubles in base power when your stats are lowered. So we go for the plus two Stellar Terror Boosted Lash Out into the Ursaluna, knocking it out. And Ursaluna Blood Moon and just regular Ursaluna in general are very, very bulky Pokemon. So I was just kind of surprised that I was able to do that. But I guess, like, it is, like, 150 base power, Stellar Terror boosted, and, you know, plus 2 attack as well. It's kind of crazy. But now they're going to bring Grafia here, and my opponent, they finally get the doodle off. I'm like, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and now they have a very fast Porygon doodle. Look at how fast I am. And uh, the Grafia is also going to get Chlorophyll, which is really funny. <laughs> But now, unfortunately for the Porygon 2, even though they have the Chlorophyll, I am still faster with my Venusaur. I can go for the Grass Pledge, Fire Pledge combination, and, you know, it's 200 base power in the sun. I also get the Stellar Boost, and poor Grafia is going to get cooked alive. I probably should have targeted P2 there, but honestly, I didn't want Grafia to be annoying. <laughs> So I got the Doodle off at least. I'm proud of them for that. But the way I was like maneuvering around Doodle, I feel kind of bad for the opponent. <laughs> so I make like a really like disrespectful play next turn as well. Uh, okay, they go for Thunder Wave and they pair my Incineroar. And that honestly ticked me off too. Like how dare you Thunder Wave me? Like I was just mad that they had Thunder Wave, but it's okay. I mean, I wasn't even mad. I was just petty. So I go for the Side Acid Spray. <laughs> To lower my special D, because, you know, I got to touch Incineroar's special D. Um, they go for the Terra Blast into Venusaur for some reason, but I don't think it would have killed my Incineroar even at minus two special defense, just because um, Incineroar is just pretty bulky and the Porygon 2 only had a download and attack. So thankfully I don't get punished for that. I'm able to go for the Lash Out boosted again and one shot the P2. And yeah, we're able to defeat Toe. Thanks to my, uh, you know, Bulldoze 420 Blaze. Uh, the Incineroar Blaze didn't come into play at all in that battle. Um, you can't get Blaze to pop off, like, every time. Like, you kind of need, like, the opponent to pre-damage you or for Dragonite to, like, Earthquake you. But, yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed that battle featuring just me, like, finessing, like, the Grafia. I get that was kind of, like, bullying, but I was kind of proud of how I played that. So, yeah, let's move on to the next battle. My next opponent today was actually the very first battle I played with this team, and it was actually against O Weezing. So, how ironic is it that... A 420 theme team fought against like a Weezing with neutralizing gas, you know what I mean? I think that's just really funny and also scary because Weezing shuts down like meme teams really hard. Like it shuts down my chlorophyll and drought, it shuts down like basically every ability on my team. Outside of Incineroar's Intimidate, which doesn't exist. But yeah, pretty um interesting matchup. Let's get into it. And my opponent is taking a selfie with their Skeleturge. I'm taking a selfie with the superior fire starter. Though I like Skeleturge too. A lot of people don't like it, but I like its cry a lot, especially. I think its cry is really cool. I also like its design, I like its type. I just like Skeleturge, okay? Anyways, they're gonna lead off with their Weezing and Regigigas. Not too surprising, as they're also gonna trash slice the Regigigas into a ghost type to avoid the potential fake out, but instead I go for protect my Incineroar because my Incineroar is not like other Incineroars. Like, I want to make that clear with this team that my Incineroar, like people complain about fake out, party shot, intimidate. My Incineroar doesn't have any of that, okay? Like this is an, this is truly like an Incineroar that is built different. So I go for the Bulldoze here and protect because even though like I can't get Chlorophyll, I can at least get speed control with the Bulldoze, but actually I can't because it's clear Amulet Regigigas. They try to go for the Taunt into my Ensign for some reason. I don't really know why, <laughs> but we are kind of like lower elo and master ball because I did kind of lose a lot with a previous team I was testing. Um, not this team surprisingly, but a different team. I don't want to split for a video. Anyways, they're going to go for a drain punch. I read it and I bring in my flutter main. And because like I didn't want to risk getting hit by that, I, I might not have killed me, but either way, I just want to put Rich Gigas to sleep as now it is a ghost type asleep. And even though like they don't have an ability right now, like there's no slow start active. Like, my Fluttermane should still outspeed it just because, like, Fluttermane is fair and balanced, and it is a ghost typing, so, like, it should just get obliterated by this, you know, ghost type attack. So, they're gonna burn my Venusaur. Like, they just literally burn my weed. Like, okay, like, smoke me up, girl. I go for the Hex into the Regigigas, one shotting it because the combo in mind was, like, Acid Spray with the you know, Venusaur with the Life Orb Fluttermane. And then we have Sleep Powder Hex as well as, like, a funny combo to use with Fluttermane. I don't know. I built this team very baked. So, I'm gonna put the Weezing to sleep which is probably what i should be doing right now but instead i'm narrating this at um 11 p.m 
on 420. I'm probably not going to get this out by the end of 420, but you know, it's okay. It, it still counts. It still counts just because it's a fun team. And you know, 420, like it's kind of cringe anyway. Like this whole like, oh my god, the oh, okay. <laughs> they brought an Urshifu and the Flutter Mains like main like jump scared me. I, I was not ready for that. Okay. Um, that, that's all right. I should probably re narrate this. No, no, I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm just gonna roll with it. So they go for Wicked Blow. I switch into my, um, my Torkoal because I didn't want to get, you know, I couldn't protect. I, no, I could have protected because neutralizing gas. Oh my god, I didn't realize that in the battle of the hindsight is like 2020. I could have protected there because of neutralizing gas. Actually, knowing my luck, it probably would have been like ability shield or Shifu that would have, like, <laughs> I'm still a little baked, I'm not gonna lie. That edible had a pretty big effect on me. Anyways, um, I bulldoze to pivot out my Torkoal while also pivoting in the Wicked Blow. Like, <laughs> the plays that I make in this video are like unholy. And I'm able to go for the Hex into the Smog Mog and knock it out, which is amazing. And because I lowered the Urshifu speed, I should be able to go for another Sleep Powder, I do believe. Right, um, yeah, the life orb's gonna, you know, tick me down. No, they actually still have speed me. Oh, because they probably scarf Urshifu, right. They're like all scarf now. <laughs> Even the dark ones are scarf, which is kind of annoying, but I'm able to hit another sleep powder because my Venusaur does not miss against annoying ass Urshifu. Like, my Venusaur is too high to give a fuck. Like, truly. Anyways, I bring in my Torkoal here. Finally, with the Weezing gone, I can bring in my Torkoal. And they're gonna bring in their furry, furry and Blitz. They're a uh, Raging Bolt. Gonna set up the sun for the Raging Bolt, which is kind of scary. Like, <laughs> that is a little terrifying because of Thunderclaps and stuff. And I'm just gonna switch out of my Torkoal. And I'm gonna bring out my Incineroar. My husband, of course, of course. So they're gonna go for Protect with the Raging Bolt as I just try to go for the Sleep Powder. <laughs> I'm just trying to be as cringe as possible at this point because I didn't really have much else to do Like I don't have earth power to hit it and acid spray like wouldn't do too much damage So I just take the opportunity to bring an ensign go for the sleep powder But they just protect themselves here and I could go for another sleep powder But instead I just go for the stellar terrestrialization with my incinivore They go for the thunderclap with the um, you know protosynthesis boost It does over half but thankfully we're able to survive go for the grass pledge which sets up incinivore allowing it to move immediately after and i can just go for the pledge combination um i don't believe i'm actually in blaze range right now because i have to be 60 hp or lower and i think i'm at like 70 ish so unfortunately not in blaze but thankfully still enough to knock out the urshifu thanks to stellar terra sun you know super stab with the stellar boost like it's still pretty strong 200 base power like even though my incinivore is like a mixed attacker it just doesn't matter <laughs> This strategy is so bad. Do not try this at home. There's a reason why there will not be a rental code for this team. Even if the concept is funny and you could cheese people with it, like, I, I don't condone this behavior. I'm just doing it for y'all's entertainment. I miss the sleep powder finally. Venusaur proves that it can actually miss. This Raging Bolt reveals to have Discharge, which is kind of cool because the Raging Bolt, which I have on this model electric team, which I'm going to upload hopefully soon. Also has Discharge, but thankfully, because of my burn, I can't get burned. But I also have Cobra Cloak on Venusaur, so I'd be able to avoid the Discharge pair anyways. But now I'm pretty low because of a crit, which is kind of scary. I could still lose to this Raging Bolt. I try to go for Double Protect to avoid a potential Thunderclap, but don't, unfortunately, they don't go for Thunderclap. Now you just go for your Sleep Powder to put the uh, Raging Bolt to sleep. But um, from the looks of it, they might not go for Thunderclap again, but they could get a first turn wake up and Thunderclap my Ensign. So it's like overall like pretty scary. The lava, like the, <laughs> the floor is lava effect, but I just go for the bulldoze here just because I'm like, you know what? If they Thunderclap me and win a 1v3, whatever. I'll, I'll post it anyway. Pokétier are posting a loss, unbelievable. But like this battle is really good and I don't know, having a lot of fun. So I go for the bulldoze activate our weakness policy getting myself into blaze which doesn't really matter because instead of going for the fire attack i go for the lash out here which is stellar terror boosted 50 percent increase in damage for both of your stats but only once so that's how stellar terror works unless you're terra pagos and you get like infinite can't wait to use terra pagos i still need to catch it in my game <laughs> maybe i should finish the dlc finally and do a stream or something i don't know let me know in the comments if y'all would actually watch that anyways hopefully you all enjoy the battle against todd did and I don't know why I saved a clip there. Let's move on to the last battle that was actually my second battle with this team. I happened to run into Weezing two matches in a row with a 420 theme team. Like not just once, but twice. So I figured I would save this, you know, Weezing gauntlet for last. Like normally I would save like the rage quit for last, but I'm switching it up for this, you know, theme team special. So yeah, let's get into this battle against Travis.
Because there's no, like, Regigigas on their team, I wasn't too sure what they were gonna use with the Weezing, but I did assume that Weezing was coming because their team, you know, is very- like, it kind of looks outdated though because, I mean, Protosynthesis used to not get disabled and Quark Drive used to not get disabled by Neutralizing Gas, but in an update, um, Indigo Disc update, they made it so that Neutralizing Gas does disable uh, the Paradox Pokemon's abilities. So, that's cool. I leave Instant Dragonite though. And I go for Protect, and they go for Protect for some reason, and they fake out. But because of Neutralizing Gas, my Inner Focus doesn't activate, so I'm like, crap. But it's okay, because I have the Encore. Why? On Dragonite. Yes, I have Encore on Dragonite. I go for the Fire Pledge, and we're going to do a little chip. Not too much, but not too much, not too much, but it's okay. Do a little chip to the Weezing. They go for the Taunt into the Incineroar. I don't know why these Weezings taunt Incineroar. Like, is Parting Shot really that scary? Like, that last I had a clear Amulet Regigigas. Like, I don't really get the Taunts into my Incineroar. But I guess they do just want to taunt my man. Because, you know, Incineroar... No, they want to, you know, pr provoke Incineroar. I get it. I get it. Anyways, I go for the Earthquake here to activate our Weakness Policy. And chip down this Weezing a bit. But we actually bring ourselves into the perfect Ranger Blaze. 60 out of 180. <laughs> So I do believe that's uh, I do believe that's place range like a guaranteed right like there's no way it's not it's 130 HP so yeah um, I pretty much EV trained this Dragonite it's just basically like Adamant 252 252 well not 252 exactly but you know what I mean it's pretty it's Adamant 252 but anyways I go for a fire pledge even without my blaze effect it, like in effect because neutralizing gas we're still able to knock it out thanks to the uh, plus two special attack boost and now the neutralizing gas is gonna wear off and they're gonna bring out their Landers Therian so. If I could, like, outspeed, like, my opponent here, I would be able to get the Lash Out damage, but unfortunately, Incineroar is not fast. <laughs> and I need, like, a Tailwind up to actually accomplish that. And my Dragonite actually does carry Tailwind, believe it or not. So, I'm gonna bring in my Torkoal here, set up the Sun with, you know, that Drought, now that the Weezing is gone. They actually go for a Rock Slide, but my Dragonite is built different. It's not, like, a Terra Normi E-Speed set. She is majestic with, like, how she's built. So... <laughs> They go for the Sword Stance with the Ogre Pond, and I just go for the Tailwind. I didn't really expect the uh, Sword Stance on Ogre Pond, I'm not gonna lie. So here I Terrastalize, and they Terrastalize. Instead of a normal type, I go into a Flying type because it's Dragonite's birthday, and they go into the, you know, Water Mask Ogre Pond, which is kind of scary, but, like, the sun is up, so, like, Ivy Conjo, like, shouldn't one-shot my Dragonite. Like, I don't really give a crap about my Torkoal, but <laughs> my Dragonite at this point is, like, my carry because... Like, the neutralizing gas, like, disrupts my strategy, so I had to play differently. Especially because these were my first two games with this team, by the way. So I had no way of, like, knowing how to, like, actually play it. So imagine, like, playing your meme team without the memes for, like, the first bet. Like, the <laughs> it it's truly a blessed 420 special. That's why, like, I don't regret that. Well, even though I was trying to take, like, a hiatus or, like, a break or even, like, potentially quitting, like, weed. Like, I, I don't regret, like, splurging on 420. I still plan on, like, keeping it up for, like, another, like, a, a, a decent while. I don't want to get back into it, especially because I'm trying to save money. I'm really low on money right now. So, you know, sugar dads, mm -hmm, wink, wink. Um, I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just watching really means the world's weed. I'm just kind of saying whatever. Anyways, I go for the Deekly with my Flutter Mane, with the Life Orb boost, and do a decent amount of damage. And I just go for the Terrifying Terror Blast, and I am going to knock out the Ogre Pond. They try to go for the Fake Out into my Inner Focus Dragonite, but because... <laughs> It's funny, they saw the inner focus because the antenna didn't work, but because like the turn one they faked out into my Dragonite and it like worked, they like forgot about inner focus. And so now I can actually just encore this iron hands into the fake out again. So instead of just finishing off my opponent, I'm gonna play with my food a bit. Gonna go for the encore, why? Into the iron hands and lock that bitch into the fake out, which is just amazing. And now my opponent, I do believe just concedes. But yeah, my opponent's gonna surrender and we're able to defeat Weezing twice with my meme team before I was able to actually pull off any of my memes I wanted to use with this team. So instead of putting him at the beginning, I want to put him like at the end because usually people click off this video at this point and people just want to see the gimmick. So I figured I would put these at the end. But hopefully you all enjoyed these battles. Here's the team, like moveset details. I didn't really get to showcase my Chien Pao, but I did have the White Herb with Lash Out so I can also bulldoze next to Chien Pao and like activate White Herb while, you know, doubling the Lash Out base power. And even with White Herb activating, nullifying the speed drop, it still doubles the power. So you can actually potentially get multiple a lash out combos with the GM pal but yeah make sure to join my discord server and follow me on twitter if you have those social medias and feel like interacting with me and my community you can you know follow me there 
But yeah, thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. I love you all very, very much. And I'll check you all in my next video.